if one person wants to make revisions to the house or changes, but the other doesn't while they're going through the divorce, or one person thinks it's worth it to dump $10,000 into the, into the house to make those th changes and the other person does it, or one person thinks it should be listed at a million dollars and the other person should thinks it should be listed at 700,000. Those are really big cracks or areas of conflict that we see that aren't resolved a lot when people are going through a divorce. So it's really common for a divorce professional to say, okay, you agree you're going to sell your house. Great. When are you listing it for sale? Get a date. You're going to split the equity. Cool. That's it. And there's so many gaps in between where that can fall apart. And so a lot of uh, divorce professionals actually use what are called special masters, where they actually facilitate the entire sale so that the clients don't have to. And that's an expense on their end. And in reality, if you have a team of people, such as when we work together, we can really fill in those gaps. So, you know, you're talking to a client, they go through and husband says, I want to put $10,000 into the house to make changes. And wife is like, that's not happening. You absolutely are going to help them talk through that, but they also can talk through that in mediation and we can work out solutions for that as they're going through the process rather than me just walking through it with them. And then six months down the line, they come to you and they have a bunch of conflict and you're just stuck with this very vague agreement and you have to figure it all out. Not saying you're not capable, but it's nice to have a team. <laughs> I mean, no, teamwork makes the dream work. I mean, just it takes a village sometimes and it and it really takes a lot of people to get a lot done mm -hmm. when it comes to when I mean, the example of it, even if they just need three different things taken care of at the house, you know, if we're not the ones helping them schedule it in their mind, they're making this a bigger issue and then they don't take action. So part of what we're doing is we're partnering with them and we're working together on this transaction, right? We're working together on it. So that's why we just help schedule things and we help bring people in. And ultimately it's up to them. 